Hello guys, this is Zephyr UK from Graph Media and TMF Gaming and today I'm presenting you a tutorial on Photoshop on the uses of filtering. Now filtering is an important thing you need to know when you are using Photoshop. Not only can you enhance your images using filtering but you can also create things such as textures and lighting effects as such. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate the uses of filtering. So as you can see here I have a an image, it says TMF Gaming, because obviously I'm the manager of TMF Gaming, so make it a little bit, I don't know, whatever. And I'm basically first of all going to create a new layer, I'm going to drag it below the original rendered text. Uh, the background colour could be anything, but I'm going to choose a boring grey. Uh, I'm going to go back to the first layer, just move that into the centre a bit, there we go. Okay, so at the minute we've got our rendered text and we've got our main background. First thing I'm going to teach you to do is make light or a lighting effect. So the idea is you create a layer above everything uh, and you give it a colour. Usually it has to be white. Do not select black for this. It has to be a white sheet and literally cover the entire thing. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to filter, render, lighting effects. Then you just want to play about with it until you find a position which you're comfortable with. Uh, let's drag that in a bit, a bit over to the side, so there we go. So this is what we've got at the minute. And then you can go over to your Layers tab, and where it says Normal, you're going to select Overlay. You can play about with it, you can choose Hard Light, Soft Light, just kind of play about with it till you come up with something which you like. A good thing to use is usually Color Dodge, but most of the time I'd recommend either using overlay or soft lights. For this I'm going to use overlay. And that's how you do the basic lighting effects. But again, at the minute it seems a bit boring, so if I just create a new layer above that uh, and say we'll give it a colour black and white, create a black sheet, again go to filter, render and then go to clouds. Now if we just drag the clouds below the text and select overlay or oh, like that um, as you can see it kind of changes it a bit so the light is coming from one different direction but you could also um, increase the intensity defaultly or you could just keep duplicating it till you come up with a more uh, dramatic light like this okay the next part of um, filtering I'm going to teach you is um, uh, the uses of blur Blur is an important thing, you can create some nice effects with blur and uh, it, it's a good enhancement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the rendered text. Uh, if you've seen my uh, Crimson Speed Art, you may be aware, uh, or already familiar with this idea. But once we've done this, we go to uh, Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. We then select Zoom and then we increase the intensity until something, for example, 60. So we've got this. I think we go to again the, the layers tab and then select the um, mask to be hard light. You can choose any other one, but I like hard light because it, it gives it a more dramatic appeal or so. And as you can see there, it, it creates an almost echoing light effect. Um, so th this is just basic uses of filtering. Now to do something more drastic. With the cloud you see behind you, I'm now going to alter that. I'm going to filter uh, the filter literally. And on the cloud layer, I'm going to go to filter radial blur. Oh, you know, blur, radial blur. Increase the intensity. So, all right. again, you can come up with all kinds of different techniques and stuff. One I see is quite popular is the um, to go to mosaic, it creates pixels. Increase the uh, pixel size or so, and then go back to filter again and choose motion blur instead. The motion blur is quite a popular one as well. Choose one for example 90, increase the intensity or so. You get these sort of um, sort of vector lines or so, these like straight lines. So th this is just basics you can use for filtering, but if you uh, play with filtering around enough you can create some nice effects and it will make your work a little bit more impressive as such. Another thing I'm just going to add before I wrap up this tutorial is to create your own lens. 
without using any flares as they are. Go to a new layer above everything else. Uh, make sure that this layer is black. Go to filter, render, lens flare. Select the flare you want to use. Uh, this one's quite a nice one to use if you use it correctly, of course, which in this case I probably will not be. Uh, then go to the uh, layers and select screen. Oh, it, sometimes it doesn't work for screen, sometimes you have to use lighten, but again, you play about with it. Sometimes I find, uh, I think, color burn, not color burn, color dodge, I think it is. Yeah, color dodge or linear dodge, uh, they tend to work quite nicely if you use them right. Uh, so I'm going to stick with screen for now and again you can sort of just place that around willy nilly I'm just going to place that behind everything I don't know. and then if you uh, go to image adjustments saturation select colorize you can then alter the color of the lens flare so so this is just basics again uh, if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do or anything you want to ask the team uh, leave a message on graph media other than that thank you for watching this tutorial peace